Hello everyone, welcome back to the room. So the puzzle that I left off with was this one. I was trying to set it to the date on this piece of paper. June 21st. It was not working and then I discovered this. Yeah, two, five. So pretty sure that's the correct combination, so let's go ahead and enter it. Two, five. What do you know? Another key. Another large, oddly shaped key. Let me guess this one has a turnable end as well. Oh, god, it's got two parts to it. Okay. Right, well, I'm pretty sure that goes into here. Okay, so it looks like we're playing Tetris here. Alright, so the top of the key is like an L. Um... Um... Uh... This doesn't seem right. Unless... Mate, no. No, it's gotta go in there like that. Um, actually, wait, that might be... I think that's it. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so yeah, yeah, the top's fine. Now it's just the bottom. The bottom is like a... It's a thingy with like a bend and there's like a thing and then stuff and then things. Which, actually, I think it's perfect. Mm-hmm. Hello. Ah, look at the inner machinations. I don't think that's how you pronounce that word, but I'm going to go with it anyway. Of this device. A circular plate with a star emblem. Mmm... Probably goes here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Oh, I think I got the next one. And solved. The second seal is open. Just one more to go. Oh my god. This thing is beautiful. You know what? I can't escape the feeling that I'm going to open this damn box. And in the center of it... Is going to be like a moldy apple. That's been there for 50 years. Some sort of cosmic joke. Hmm. Non est ad astra mollis e terris v. Cool. It's helpful. Hmm. Moves the gear up and then it doesn't do anything. Guildford, Guildford, England. I think that's the same makers as the, the, uh, the safe at the very beginning, right? It's hard to tell what exactly, but something is missing here. Yeah. Maybe something's supposed to go there? This little black thing? There's so much stuff to this. Look at it. Alright. Let's look down here. Can move this? No. Alright, check out this side. I need the key to open that. What about down here? Looks like I could unscrew this if I had a screwdriver or something of the sort. Oh, hello. Oh, look at that, it falls down. Okay, so I need to match it up, right? I'm assuming. Yeah, so this one, just like the thing up top. Up. Here. Mm 
This one also has a little shaded section of it. So it's divided into fourths. For whatever reason. I'm just going to match it up to that one. Don't know if that's going to do anything. Alright, what is going on over here? Because I'm serious gear action. Alright, so there's obviously some missing gears. Hmm. Alright, so I can power this. This mechanism looks like it slides upwards, but what drives it? Well, I guess I found out. Ugh, go down more! I'm gonna break this damn box. You know what, why don't I just like put some fucking C4 on this box and just open it? Like, screw it. What does it contain anyway, the, the damn null element? Well, null element is by definition nothing. Can't blow up nothing, can you? Solved. So it moves too. But this one and the one up top are such in indistinct shapes, I don't know which way to turn them. Strange. Okay, I can keep moving that up, but I want to take a quick look around. With this to see if there's anything I'm missing with it. Oh, okay, well that's something an arrow, telling me to turn it clockwise. Of course, I still can't move it because I'm missing something, so that doesn't actually help yet. Okay, yeah, I don't think I need my magic sight yet. So let's just move this all the way up, see what happens. Oh, hello. <laughs> the box grows. Bigger and bigger. Can I turn it back down? No. Yes, I just need more gears. A large cog driven by the smaller cog beneath it. So I can't focus on this up here, huh? I guess I can't move that stuff. Is there anything up top? Doesn't appear so. No. Okay, so what has been revealed on this extra layer? Okay, two things it looks like. Yeah, this thing, and this thing. Alright, so to open this, I need to... Oh. Oh. I see. So the dials control... The dials in other places control which way these are facing. So these two are facing the correct way. This triangle is facing the correct way because... Well, it was obvious enough to... Uh, get that set correctly based on the panel. This thing down here, I've set the correct way just by accident. So... If I turn the square counterclockwise once, that should do it. Yep, there we go. Uh, circle. I don't think I've seen a fourth one, have I? There's one there. There's one. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. Where did you come from? Surely you weren't there the whole time, were you? Clockwise. Twice. There we go. Anything else new? Around these posts? Doesn't appear so. Okay, what's in here? Hmm, a gear. I need more than one, but, uh... Oh, elastic band. Maybe I don't need more than one. Actually, no, I probably still do. I, I was thinking of using the elastic band like a belt. You know, like in a car. But that doesn't work with the gears, does it? That works on wheels, not gears. Anything hidden? In the corners? Alright, what is this? Looks like a massive keyhole or something. 
Yeah, I need to put something in it. Something that I don't have. Alright, well, actually, I might be able to get away with one gear if it's big enough. I'll put it here. Does this not... Oh, there it goes. Okay. Well, in that case, flip it back over here. Alright. Lifting one up, I see. Cool. Open up a thingy. Double cool. A small screwdriver. Oh, I know exactly where to use that. I uh, can't take the gear back, can I? Nope. That goes here. Which probably reveals another gear. Oh, yes, I even get to turn it. Yes. Hmm. So, as long as I keep this pressed, they stop. Is there a particular point where I'd want to stop it? Uh... Why did it stay stopped? I... How, what? I don't get it. But I had to hold it down before, now I don't? I don't know what just happened. Anyway. Um... Okay. I think that goes here. Unless I need to move it around. Oh, I do. Okay. So, T-shaped. Let's see. Two notches, two notches, and then a straight T. Yeah, two notches, two notches, straight T. Here's the straight T. Here's the other notch. I should do it. Wrong shape. Fuck you! Whoa, what is that? Is that a... Is that a hint? Because I don't think I needed a hint, but uh, thank you, I guess. Medium-sized cog. Okay, so we can go in any one of these, I think. Obviously, this one will actually get me to one of these, whereas the other one will not. Or putting it on, putting it on any of the other ones will not. Ah, okay. And the final one. Never mind, not the final one. I need... Nope, that doesn't work. Um... No, nope, we're fucked. Forget it. It's over. Burn it all. I can't take any of these back, right? Doesn't seem so. It really doesn't reach. Hmm. I don't get it. Am I missing something? Like literally, literally missing an object? What about this? Ah! Okay. Yeah, I guess Kitch is connected to that part. Okay, now that's spinning, so now if I press this, it should engage, right? There we go. Hello. Long, narrow steel tube. Oh. 
some kind of small key. And then inside of the tube is chapstick. Awesome. Oh, it's a piece of parchment. Oh, never mind, it's an old photograph. Rev... Revelation? 605? Or... Is that a Bible thing? Just some old building, but it looks like there's some gears up there. At the top. Hmm. That is a very, very tiny and long key. Alright, perhaps it goes... here? In the dark void? No? Apparently not. Yeah, I still can't do anything with this. Hmm. Alright, well this is moving now. This thing is also moving like crazy. Do I have any influence over it? I don't think I do. I think it just moves around randomly at the moment. Okay, um... What is incomplete? In incomplete, rather. There is the dude without a weapon. Like, where even is a keyhole that I haven't opened yet? I'm trying to think of one, I, I can't. What has a keyhole? So this is all done with. Probably missed a small compartment or something. Wait a minute, wait a minute. This thing does have a hole. It's moving though. So, yeah, I don't think that's gonna work. It does have a hole though. Screwdriver. No. Photograph. No. Like, I don't think I can do anything with this information at the moment. A uh, number or whatever, 605. There's nowhere to enter a number, is there? I'm guessing if I had to enter it anywhere, it'd probably be here, but I can't move this thing because it's apparently missing something. I can't move that. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, here we go. There's the symbol again. Ah. Looks like I need to recreate it once again. Uh, I think I need to connect it to this symbol in the back. So I've got to look at it from the right perspective, I guess. Like... How the hell? How do I look at it? Where where look from? Um This is this is really hard actually trying to translate this shape in like 3D space from multiple perspectives. That is actually very very hard for my brain to handle. Okay, well, the dot things there's there's one dot at the very top and there's one dot at the bottom. So it's got to be from, like, this perspective. Ooh, 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 there we go. Ah, that's for the night dude, I think. A small silver shield. It's adorbs, look at that. I want a tiny shield. Put a tiny shield in my breast pocket to protect me from anyone who tries to shoot me in the 
in the breast pocket. Why would somebody shoot me in the breast pocket? I don't know. Why would anyone shoot me in the first place? I don't really want to think about that. Let's stop thinking about getting murdered. And let's start putting a tiny shield on a dude. Except I think he already has a shield. He does have a shield. Do you want another shield? Do you want a dual wield shield? Oh, he does. Oh, it's not a shield, it's a jewel. Oval gemstone, which is probably what goes here. There we go. Now it can move. Okay, oh, here we go. Oh, well, pfft. Now this makes sense, it's actually a time. 6.05. Have I ever mentioned that I'm terrible at reading analog locks? Uh, okay. Well, that's 12. 1, 2, 3, yeah, 4, 5, 6. Is enough? And there's an hour hand and a minute hand. I hate analog clocks. So stupid. Why were they ever invented? They should have just skipped over analog clocks and just went straight to digital. I mean, come on. Lame. There we go. Holy crap. Chapter complete. Smaller and smaller objects. Ho 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 ho! Beautiful. You know what would be a nice feature? It'll be a really cool feature. Is if you could run your hand along surfaces and f hear the sound of what it sounds like. You know, just drag your mouse across here and just hear that, you know, soft scraping noise as your hand brushes against the metal and or stone, whatever this is. That would be cool. Maybe a little bit over the top. That'd be so cool. God, where do I even start? Hmm. I still have this. It's weird. Well, I can't touch these jewel things. There's a wheel missing here. I'm guessing the wheel opens up or modifies this thing in some way. Can't move this. Nope. These obviously open or something, but I can't touch them. There's a slot here for something to fit into. It's almost like you drop marbles down there or something. I'm guessing they maybe light up the jewel things. Looks like it could turn, but I can't turn it. A regularly shaped hole. So many different parts to this thing. Beautiful. Needs a key that I don't have. Alright, so it looks like this thing is, uh, the shaft keeping this thing closed is controlled by this gear, and the gear is locked behind this thing. So if I unlock it, I can get at the gear, and the gear can unlock this thing, which will unlock this thing. Ooh, this, this has the special, was that the special surface? It is. It's the shiny surface. Is this one shiny? No. Okay, so I can move that, but it doesn't seem to do anything. Alright, so what's going on here? Oh, do I need to allow this thing inside? No? Huh. 
Ah. Wait, does it go in? Am I an idiot, or did I see that going in? Because I see a weird thing here. Like, there's some weird sections on this wheel. There's little white lines. One here, one here, one here. Hmm. Yeah, the, the hole here is too small for this thing to fit through. I don't know what's that, what that's about. Come back to that later. Alright, so it needs a bunch of stuff plugged into it. Missing large parts of the world. God, this globe is so covered with names. Can't even read anything. Looks like it's missing something here. Just like that letter, the letter L that I put in that thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so it needs a combination of six in a certain shape. Star-shaped indentation. Cross, uh, cross key's emblem is cut into the wood. So yeah, it looks like that's another one of those configurable key things that I need, that I do not have. Talisman Co. Heliocentric Orrery. Oh, there we go. Hello, making progress. July 15th. My research into the null element continues at pace. Given the nature of its origin, I am increasingly convinced that it is somehow tied to my very soul. Its properties are becoming clear. It derives a colossal energy from somewhere. I have fashioned a device through which to channel and focus it, but I am fearful of further experimentation. I lack the understanding to control it. I fashioned a device through which to channel and focus it. I believe that would be this thing here. This orbular, globular, mobular, blobular thing. A box with some kind of puzzle on top. A puzzle? A puzzle box? You don't say. I never would have expected that from this game. So very, very surprising. Square hole for something to fit into. Yeah, holes are meant to be filled. That is a fact of life. Alright, well, before I take a look at the box, let's see what's going on up here. I want to scout out the whole region. I should focus on the size of this box for now. Alright, so that's a hint telling me to look elsewhere because it's a waste of time. Up there. Okay. Alright. To the box. Hmm. Well, simple enough. Just orient this in a way in which I can get this thing to this side. Oh, I see. I can't do it in one fell swoop. I have to move it to a place, you know, a safe zone, and then move it again, and then move it across. Okay. So... That's not going to work. 
That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. <laughs> this is actually an interesting puzzle. Okay, I'm not exactly sure what sequence to do, but I'm just gonna try some stuff. Okay, there we go. There we go. So if we move it here... I don't know where this is going, but... Uh, apparently it's going nowhere. This is where I came from, isn't it? Okay, I could get it onto here. So that's the only way it can connect, right? I swear I'm hearing whispering right now. I am hearing whispering. It's creepy. Alright, so where could this connect it? Oh, oh, calm down. Oh, here we go. Okay. I think I'm getting there. Okay, so if I connect it to there, this can connect nowhere. It doesn't go anywhere. It's pointless. Yeah, get onto here. Both ends of this don't connect. Don't connect. Don't connect. And this just back here. Alright. Ah, this one. Ooh, this is the one, isn't it? Yep, that's the one. Okay. Bingo! It's a cool little puzzle. An ordinary key. Nothing else special? Nope. Okay, um... Ordinary key for an or ordinary keyhole. Such as this? Yes. Oh, it just winds the gear. Okay. Simple enough. Okay, I think this might be a trial and error thing again. So the first five... And then you go the other direction. Three, four... Three, four... Okay, so... Five clockwise... No, 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 five, five counterclockwise... Four clockwise... Writing this down. One, two, three, four, five... One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, the rest have to be the other way, right? There we go. Okay. Sweet. I think I'm a bobber. It's a frame for a piece of paper with a viewing lens. Oh. That's why I kept this. That's why they arbitrarily left me that picture, but didn't leave me the other stuff. Because my character knew in the future that they would need it. I see how this works. That means I can see the future. Well shit, if I can see the future, then I already know what's inside of the box. Unless I never manage to open it. Well, I just totally breathed into the microphone, sorry. That probably sounded horrible. Small square peg. Alright, let's take a look. Okay, we're done taking a look. That was fascinating. No, <laughs> go back. It's like the most useless thing ever. What the hell am I supposed to see? What? It's like, look through this lens. It makes everything look crappier. Congratulations. Yay, chromatic aberration. And a dirty lens that needs cleaning. Also, it's kind of scratched in the bottom right. Yeah, am I supposed to... 
do something with the lens? Like, prepare it in some way, or... I don't know. I, I don't see anything useful there. Right. Well. I've got a thingy to put somewhere. Can I not put it here? Looks like that's where it's supposed to go. Wait, that's weird. It gets highlighted like I can put it there, but it doesn't work. Oh, I need to unlock it, don't I? It's behind it. It is behind it. I don't think it's here. Unless... No, it doesn't go there. Yeah, is there supposed to be something useful here? Oh, there we go. Needed to use the lens. Wow, that, that lens zooms in really well. Really, really well. Sigil. Oh, look at that. The photograph even changed to serve as a uh, convenient reminder. That's convenient. Sigil. Do I have anywhere I can enter text? Not that I see. Wait a minute. Ah, nothing. Thought I saw something for a second. Oh, maybe I just do this. Oh, that makes more sense. <laughs> that makes a whole hell of a lot more sense. Well, kinda. Oh, there we go. Got it. I got it. Oh, here we go. Sigil. That is a beautiful, beautiful crystal. That for a second I thought kind of looked like, uh... Well, let's not talk about that. Bright blue crystal emanating a strange light. Hmm. Big blue crystal. July 29th. A new discovery has shaken me to my core. To investigate the refractive properties of the null, of the null element, I have fashioned lenses from it. To wear one is troubling and exhausting in equal measure, and I am shown visions that are beyond my comprehension. The visions turn darker the deeper into the earth I go. I have relocated my study to the North Tower. I can no longer visit the wine cellar. Mm, saw something nasty there, did you? What the hell is this drawing of? I don't know what the hell that is, but it looks creepy. It's got like a bunch of belts and it looks like somebody glued a bunch of flowers to it or something. This thing here looks like some sort of a tongue darting out of this cobbled together sewn mouth thing. It looks monstrous. Anyway, I'm going to take my uh, BBC here, that is Big Blue Crystal, and I need to figure out where to put it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I need to compose myself. Okay. Alright, where am I putting the BBC? <laughs> I 
don't know why I find that so funny. <laughs> okay. Okay. Back to puzzle solving. <laughs> this is serious business. We're talking demons in Pandora's box and the null element. Come on, get your shit together. Okay. Can I do something with it? Yeah, I wonder if I'm supposed to focus on the top now. I'd probably know when I'm supposed. Yeah, I'm not supposed to do it yet. What do I do with this crystal? Um, it doesn't even say anything about it. But this, no. It obviously opens up at some point, but not yet. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait a minute, this? No. What the hell do I do with it? Come on, Crystal. Oh, wait a minute. Let's go here. Hmm. What about here? What's that? Oh, it's a thumbprint. Okay, so that's, yeah, that's your clue to know that you can open that up if you uh, missed it. Yeah, I don't see anything else here, the special vision. I'm trying to see if I can find the crystal inside of this drawing if that would help me figure out what to do with it, but I don't see it. I mean, I'm thinking I just need to set it inside of a base that matches the shape of this base. But the only thing I saw like it was like this. I don't think that has enough sides. No, it doesn't. Nor does that. Or does that? Oh, here we go. Okay, I yeah, I figured that makes some sort of a light. Perhaps I need to focus it? Yes, that's what I thought. Is that a film wheel? It's a weighted flywheel. Okay. Flywheel. Hmm. Okay. Plus symbol on the back. Sorry, I just totally zoned out. I, w I was thinking about my BBC again. Oh, here we go. Ah. Small sort of device for reflecting light. I saw that button. Hello. Hexagonal piece of map. Oh, I know exactly where that goes. Button was trying to hide. You don't hide from me. I'll always find you. <sighs> Ooh! He gives you presents! A brass winding handle with a square pin. Well, I happen to know a square hole. Cool! Wood! Goodbye. No, I'm just kidding. 
Special lens. What's in there? Whoa, it's like a mini town. Look at that. It's like a dollhouse. Alright, so if I look at that from the right angle, I'm guessing it does something. I feel like something's missing. Oh, I can rotate it. Okay. Oh, I'm remaking the symbol. There we go. Intricate wooden box. Hold on, I never actually looked at this thing. Can I do anything with it? Like right now, or do I have to use it on something? Yeah, I can't seem to do anything with it yet. So I gotta put it somewhere. Somewhere. Aha! Ah, is it gonna turn on the table? Whoa, what's this? Oh, it's a timed thing? And then once the timer disappears, I'm guessing this light turns off. Or not. Hmm. Interesting. Well, I'm guessing there's no point in trying to do that if I don't have all of these unlocked. Yeah, I probably need to continue them. But then again, how would, how would I unlock them all? Can I mess with this? Like, maybe I need a lens on the other side or something? I don't know. Let's, uh... Let's take a look at this box. Ooh! Neato. That's so cool. Wouldn't it be awesome to have something like this? All these tiny objects with super intricate mechanisms. It'd be so neat. Does anyone even make that stuff? Like, who would even make that? It's not exactly something you can, like, mass market. Okay, where do I put this? Here? No, it's not a map piece. Yeah, it's not a map piece, it's gotta be flat. Like this one. <clears> oh, <throat> look at that. It even keeps spinning even after you leave. Oh, here we go. Sweet. One more. Or, oh. I didn't do what I think, uh, what I thought I was going to do. I thought I was going to open up this and have another light thing. Okay. Um. Can I do something with this? Oh, crap. I just closed out of the game. Oh, there we go. It's back. Okay. I clicked out of the game's world. I meant to click this. Yeah, I should actually look around for that, make sure I didn't miss anything. With all of this stuff I've changed. Nope, doesn't appear so. So, yeah, can I do something with this? Oh, here we go. Alright. Oh. Where am I even looking at with it? I don't know, but let's do this first. Okay, looking through the special lens did nothing. Um... I mean, there are some lighter and some darker areas. 
But nothing super obvious, because I need six. A combination of six for this thing, and I'm sure that's what it's about. Uh, perhaps it's related to this? Oh, hello. Just keep following it. Oh, shit. A star-shaped piece of map, Tibet, I think. Okay, so I completed that side. Let's do this one. So many presents in here. Brass key with multiple folding parts. That is so cool. Oh my. Oh my. It's the Cthulhu key. Alright, well let's go get our present from the map. Aww. That one didn't even have a present. Lame. Alright, well this uh, key thing is... Pretty undoubtedly for this. Yeah, you can't really mistake, uh, mistake the many-armed peanut-shaped key. Uh, you don't need to give me... Why, why do that? I didn't ask for a tip. You know what? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I think there's an option for that. Yeah, hints. Off. Go away. I don't like you. What? Is it still going to show up? Hmm. Maybe it won't pop up for the next one? I don't know. Well, <laughs> there's no point in figuring it out myself. It already did it for me, I guess. I kind of want to just ignore it, though. Can I even do that? It might be too hard to ignore it. Let's see. Alright, so this is already in the correct orientation, obviously. This body... Yep, it's going like that. So the right one has two notches going up. Which it already has, as you can see in the background. Uh, the top one needs... Let's see. Um, well, that one, as we can see from the background. One on the left. I can't even describe the shapes, I'm just using my own brain to figure it out. Uh, using my own brain to figure it out. What the hell else would I do but use my own brain? that one. So these are not needed, are they? Doesn't fit like this. Well, screw you. Oh, this is missing a notch here. Yeah, this thing is missing this piece. There we go. Wait, what? What are you smoking? That's perfect. What's wrong with it? Um, I guess this one up here isn't quite long enough? That doesn't look right. Do I need to use all of them? That doesn't look right either. This one's a bit strange. That looks perfect. But yeah, this one up here is a little bit off. Yeah, if you see it. That 
the uh, two tops are both the same height. Whereas this one does not have the same height going up here. It's a little bit short. How do I fix that? It'll be this, isn't it? Yeah. There, how's that? What? Man, this key is needy. It's a needy ass key. Let's make sure I'm not missing something obvious. Maybe it's actually a good thing this little thing, this little uh, trace has shown up. The one on the left here looks perfect. The one on the right here also looks perfect. Everything looks perfect. What's the problem? What if I just put these off to random sides? That'll work. No. I really don't get why that doesn't work. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Can I, like, break them off? Break off the ones I don't need? Alright, I'm gonna work on this, and I'll be right back. Okay, I think I might have just figured it out. So I noticed that these two, for some strange reason, seem to be basically interchangeable. If you look at them side by side, they're almost identical. So, I think this one goes up here, and this one goes down here. Yeah, let's try that. There we go. Okay. Ah, another small reflecting device. I know exactly where to put that. Stick that on the other end of this. Ho <laughs> ho Got a ref fraction reflecting chamber thingamabob. With lots of doodads. Alright, well, I will continue with that in the next episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.